All right, guys, it's time. Android 14 QPR Beta 1 is finally here. For those who don't know, this is basically a beta for the upcoming Pixel feature drop slated for December, and today we get to show you a sneak peek of everything new. As for what to expect, there are two huge features, mainly for the Pixel Fold, and a few smaller ones that will improve the experience for everyone across the board. Starting with the most interesting features first, I wanted to touch on the brand new ability to force apps to run in full screen on the Pixel Fold. This has been a highly requested feature and should fix a lot of complaints that many users had prior. To be clear, I still completely agree with Google's philosophy that developers should still make native apps, but this is a great workaround in the meantime for the end user. Testing it out briefly, you can find it in the settings, apps, and aspect ratio section. From here, you can change the aspect ratio per individual app, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So with Twitter, for example, you get a full screen option, a half screen option, and a three by four size for those who need it, with the added benefit of picking each individual option per app. And surprisingly, this works quite well on a wide variety of apps like the notorious Reddit, Facebook, and Twitter apps. Even Instagram also is able to be in full screen. Yes, Pixel Fold users can finally brag that we have a full screen Instagram app, and I think it works quite well, not to mention this system is also coming to the Pixel tablet, by the way. Overall, I love this feature. I'm excited to continue testing it out with different apps and yeah, it probably should have been here at launch, but hey, I am beyond happy that it's here now. Another huge Pixel Fold feature that debuted in the QPR Beta 1 update is the ability to continue using apps even after you've closed the phone shut. This one I personally didn't need, but I know a ton of Pixel Fold users that wanted this. So let's say you're on YouTube or Twitter browsing on the big screen, folding it closed will allow you to pick up right where you left off. I tested this briefly with a few applications and the feature overall seems great. I notice it's a little slow switching from one display to another and I do get crashing sometimes while actively streaming media. Otherwise, I'm excited to see this feature improved upon in the upcoming betas because this is a huge game changer for the Pixel Fold. Now, the rest of these new additions are not exclusive to the Pixel Fold, starting with the ability to use your device as a webcam when plugged into a PC. I demoed this on my Pixel 7 with my gaming rig that does not have a webcam and it's pretty seamless. When plugged in, I went into Discord and it detected my Pixel 7 webcam immediately on the first try, which was pretty impressive. The quality seems great and this is significantly better than using a built-in webcam or in my case, having none at all. Personally, I love features that give my existing devices more utility, so needless to say, this was an underrated favorite for me. There's also a brand new clock face as well coming with QPR Beta 1. The style is called Metro and from what I can tell, it's a simple, clean clock face with some slick animation to match. Personally, I would like to see a few new clock faces when every feature drop happens or third party support would be nice too, just saying. Either way, it's definitely a nice addition to the lineup and if you know me, the more options the better. QPR Beta 1 also introduced the ability to show battery count cycles in the about phone section of the settings app. From what I can tell, it seems to be retroactive from the manufacturer date and it's just a nice option to have, especially if you're buying used, it would be incredibly helpful information to be aware of before you make your purchase. In the developer options, we did spot a new option for virtual feedback on physical button presses. The premise is pretty basic, but once activated, a little window will appear on the bottom right of your screen, informing you on what hardware key was pressed. Right now, of course, we only have the volume and power buttons as feedback, but I'm sure some members of the community will be able to get some use out of this. And finally, the last additions are in regards to general UI cleanup. So for example, the background for editing notification shade tiles has changed slightly to be easier to see. When changing colors for the clock faces, you get this little animation feedback, which is a nice touch. And lastly, in QPR Beta 1, you can fine tune what you want to appear in the unified search alongside a new option to turn off suggestions entirely. And as a little side note, you also have a new icon at the bottom of the universal search menu that will bring you right to the dedicated settings. In closing, this brings me to the ultimate question of if you should install the QPR beta. And personally, I'm a little split. First, it's too early to tell what issues will pop up, but we have seen reports of Google Wallet not working properly, and I'm sure we'll find more issues as time goes on. So no, if you're looking for a no-nonsense stable experience, I would pass on this for now. But if you're like me, and you want the bleeding edge features and you have a Pixel Fold, I think it's worth a try. The forced full screen app function plus the continuous
continuous usage when switching from the inner to the outer screen are awesome for Pixel Fold users. Going full screen on any app you please really does make the experience a lot better. So ultimately it's up to you, but I'm really enjoying that aspect. Other than that, guys, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the QPR Beta 1. Will you be updating or waiting? And was there anything missing that you would have liked to see? I'll be looking out for your comments, but in the meantime, guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.